Kyiv is under attack again. The rocket hit into the important infrastructure object, reported the advisor to the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Anton Gerashenko. Part of Kyiv may be left without heat. No information about wanted for now. This is one more war crime in all the terrorist war of Russia against Ukraine. Kharkiv is shelled with bombs for several days already. Russian murderers are just trying to wipe out the population of the city. Among those who were killed by bombs, men, women, children. In Energodar, civilians first managed to block the military convoy with bare hands, but then the Russian occupiers started throwing grenades into them, just kilometers from the biggest nuclear power plant in Europe, which is still not active enough. In Borodyanka, after failed attempts to seize the town, Russian murderers just covered several residential districts with bombs, a lot of dead and wounded. Ukrainian army is fighting back with all units, all territorial defense squads. Today, on the east of the country, one of the brigades managed to counterattack near Horlivka and maintain positions. In Baryshevtsi, a key region, Ukrainian forces blew up the bridge behind Russian army advance. The Russians now have nowhere to retreat. One more victory in the diplomatic field. UN Assembly votes to condemn Russia with majority of voices and demands to withdraw the troops. Though obviously terrorist state still stays there as member. And overall indecision of the Western world costs dozens of lives of Ukrainians as Putin continued to bomb civilians.